You see, all of God's promises, whether Psalm 91 or any promise in God's Word, it's available to everyone. But not everyone will apprehend by faith the promises that God has made. All through God's Word, there's promises of protection, of deliverance, of salvation, of healing, of financial provision, of, of healing of relationship, etc. But if we don't have the faith to appropriate the promise, then it's just merely words on a page. But when we come to God and we position our hearts in such a way, we say, okay, Lord, I don't have faith in this area, but Lord, increase my faith. Lord, I want to believe you for the fullness of the promises in Psalm 91. You see, the rational mind would go here, and it's not legal to rationalize with your mind, by the way. It's actually called unbelief. Anyways, what we do is we tend to want to bring God's promises down to our level of experience, or what we do is we say, wait a minute, but I saw evil befall brother so-and-so or sister so-and-so. Or what about the good people over in the Middle East or wherever? And they're under persecution. Yes, I know. But here's the thing. When we apply the promises and we begin to operate, Lord, your word says that no plague, no sickness, no disease shall come near my dwelling place. All of a sudden we begin to operate in a diff different realm. Lord, your word says that there is divine protection for me. In fact, you will give your angels charge over me. We begin to position ourselves and operate out of a place of faith so that now the promise can begin to work in our lives. Does this make sense? Amen.